In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the zeros of a quadratic function given its equation. We're given the equation here y equals x squared minus 6x minus 16, and we're asked to find the zeros. And to find those zeros, I know that that will be the x values that result in a zero output. So that will be where our x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals zero. To find the x values that would make this true, I can factor the left hand side. And here, since it's an x squared, I know it would have to be an x and an x. The 16 could be either 1 and 16, 2 and 8, or 4 and 4. And since the signs are different, to give us a negative 16, and the middle term here is a minus 6, I could use a minus 8 and a positive 2. Those will multiply to be a negative 16, but add up to a minus 6. So I'll substitute those in here, plus 2, minus 8. Now that we factored, and we have two factors being multiplied, with the result being 0, I know that either that first factor, x plus 2, could be 0, or the second factor, x minus 8, could be 0. Since this is multiplication, if either of those two factors were 0, multiplying would give us 0. From the first equation, subtracting the 2 over to the other side gives us x equals negative 2. That's one of the zeros. From the second equation, we would add the 8 over to the other side. That would give us x equals 8 as the second zero. Just to mention what would be none, that would have been the case if we weren't able to factor the original quadratic, we wouldn't have been able to set each one of the factors equal to zero to find the zeros, so we would have chosen none in that situation.